The Lord began, I've missed our little talks together. I'm just so glad you're here, Claire. Me too, Lord. I've missed our times of worship and that sweet focus on your presence, uninterrupted by the mundane things of the world. He replied, Nevertheless, I am happy with your work. You will see that it will gather much fruit. Sweet Lord, thank you for helping me. You have been ever so present. Please share your heart with me. My darling bride, the task now is to keep you all on track and steady as she goes. I want to be sure you are stable and cleaving to your rock. Nothing I could say and do will totally prepare you for what is to come. Nothing. But I promise I will be with you, and you will be very well prepared. And that is my focus right now. I'm longing for my bride to take all my words to heart and mold herself around my priorities. For I am unshakable, and cleaving to me will be your only point of stability and sanity. And it is through your stability, bound to the rock, that you will be able to lead and comfort others. The most common thought you are going to hear is, I never thought this could happen to America. This will be the prevalent tone. How could this be happening to us? And for that short time that you are here, I want you to simply say, He's tried to tell you. It's written in the Bible. We all knew this was coming. It will be by your witness to truth that they will find their own centers with me again, or even for the first time. Many will react with outrage, and some will even be led into anarchy, which has been engineered behind the scenes. Many will cry out and humble themselves before me. Some will take their own lives for all their significance and sense of being depended on the dollar. Others who are prepared will swing into action and disappear. And you, my bride, you will be with me in heaven. I have seen your tears for your family, those dear to you, near and far. I have heard your pleas on their behalf and stored your tears in golden flasks to be a witness of your love for them. Do you think I love them less? I have been preparing them in my own way, year after year, for this very time. They are, so to speak, at the top of my list to aid in their conversions and spiritual safety. Understand that these culminating events will push them over the brink of reluctance and down into my waiting arms. I have prepared a safety net for their souls, so hold fast and confess frequently my promises to you about them. Do not judge by what you see. Much is hidden from view in places where they are already scared like little lost children, and much of their superficial bravado is a cover-up for that nagging feeling that something is about to change drastically in the world, and they will be caught unprepared. But for those who heed my advice and seek me and not their own devices, those souls shall find rest in these turbulent times unparalleled in history. This is why what I have given you to leave behind is so very important. Your efforts will be crowned with success and many will receive life-changing ministry from what you leave behind. And so here he's talking about all the PDFs and YouTubes, but especially what I've been working on is a four-disc album called Tethered. Courage and Hope for the Left Behind. One disc will have 15 songs to comfort and encourage. Two discs will be teachings and prayers. And one disc will be meditational songs. 
and I'm hoping it'll be released within the next two weeks on iTunes or Amazon in a downloadable format. I'll let you all know when it's available. It's going to be available before the beginning of March. We have taken from all our teachings the things that are absolutely necessary for those left behind and condense them into this set and it will be sold at cost maybe even twelve dollars if we can get away with it on Amazon. The Lord bless you all and thank you for your prayers. We're certainly getting closer and more prepared every day. Thank you.